Hello and uh, welcome to today's discussion on uh, EEDI and EEOI. Oops. Uh, we have already discussed uh, about uh, the importance of uh, ship energy efficiency and how it is reflected in the energy efficiency management plan. It is a very important step uh, uh, implemented by IM uh, with regard to reducing emissions from ships by improving the utilization of energy. So we will look at the concept of uh, EEDI which we have uh, discussed already uh, in the last video. Uh, EEDI is a metric used in the design of a ship during the design stage which helps us to compare two designs and we have also understood that uh, for a ship with lesser EEDI, when we compare two ships, the one with lesser EEDI will be more energy efficient. So EEDI allows us a platform, it gives us a platform to uh, measure the energy efficiency of ships and thereby uh, take decisions uh, easily. The EEDI is developed for uh, largest and the most energy intensive segments of the world merchant fleet and it embraces emissions from new ships covering uh, the following ship types that is tankers, bulk carriers, gas carriers, general cargo vessels, container vessels, refrigerated carriers, combination carriers, etc. 2014, the MEPC adopted amendments to EEDI regulations to extend the scope of EEDI to LNG carriers, Roro cargo ships, Roro passenger ships, and cruise passenger ships because these were not included initially, uh, uh, especially those passenger ships with non conventional propulsion systems. So, this expansion of uh, EEDI implementation concept is a uh, 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 has been expanded uh, to more class of ships. Uh, the main re reason being, you have to understand that even two sister ships, I hope you understand the idea of sister ships, uh, two ships which are based on the same design, uh, same construction, it has been made of same material, same machinery, uh, they are what we call as sister ships or ships built in series. So, uh, even two sister ships will require a separate energy efficiency management plan as uh, you know these ships may not be uh, operated in the same route in the same condition like a ship owner may uh, procure two sister vessels from a shipyard and he may be using these ships to carry different cargo or maybe uh, same cargo in a different route uh, or different cargo in uh, uh, same route so in all these uh, uh, situations, we can say the operational conditions of these ships will be different. And for this reason, you cannot have a same ship energy efficiency management plan, SEEMP, for even two sister vessels. So definitely it means that for different vessels, different in the sense, different designs, we need to have different SEEMP plan. So it will have different EEDI and we need to compare. You know, comparison is important again here because we need to compare which one is better in terms of energy efficiency because that helps us in our decision making in our ship design process. Now the basics of creating the SEMP for a particular ship is to estimate and determine the current energy consumption of a vessel and implement various measures to reduce the same. Now suppose we have taken a decision like this will be the machinery used in my ship. This will be the type of equipment used in my ship. Now, with that, I can estimate what will be the power, the required power, the required energy uh, to be generated on board the ship. Now, once that data is there, I can calculate the EEDI and check whether my ship has a acceptable EEDI or not. If not, then how can I reduce the energy consumption? How can I improve the energy efficiency and reduce my EEDI? Now, for this, we need to measure the EEDI and uh, a very simple formula uh, is uh, an empirical formula. Again, empirical formulas are formulas uh, uh, which uh, do not 
have units on both sides uh, you know a, a normal formula mathematical formula will have same units on both sides that is if you do the dimension analysis on left hand side and right hand side both has to be the same but empirical formula is not a formula like that if you do the dimension analysis of lss and rss it will not be the same here we have an empirical formula uh, for the calculation of eedi this formula actually uh, uh, says that eedi is power into the specific fuel consumption of that ship into the carbon conversion that is comes in the numerator divided by the capacity of the vessel the cargo carrying capacity or the total capacity of the vessel into the speed of the vessel uh, so this essentially translates into number of co2 emissions in terms of grams that is in the numerator divided by the tons per nautical mile so how much cargo you are carrying per distance that comes in the denominator so in very simple terms your eedi is actually a measure of what is the impact to the environment your ship is having divided by the benefit for society you are gaining because of this impact so uh, in simple words the co2 emission uh, per the effective work now the work is in the sense you are transporting a cargo that is the benefit to the society so how much pollution you are creating to uh, do your work okay so now comes this idea if you are having lesser pollution in doing the same work you have a lesser eedi for this reason if you uh, compare two ships the one with less eedi will be uh, better now eedi is a function of power the speed of the vessel the cargo you carry now unfortunately uh, uh, these three things are decided uh, during the initial stage of a ship how much power it needs to have the speed of the vessel how much cargo it has to be carried so in our eedi calculation uh, we basically need to reduce the co2 emissions okay so that we can improve the uh, energy efficiency uh, now for this reason we actually uh, try to draw a reference line we calculate a reference line uh, as per the curve given here and uh, this reference line is uh, used in uh, calculation of satisfactory eedi you can see uh, in during the design stage we are calculating the eedi at different uh, levels uh, and uh, the attained eedi should be less than or equal to the required eedi so we can define a required eedi uh, as per the regulations or as per the design requirements and we can check whether our eedi value is less than this or not so this is the um, uh, uh, the final application of eedi uh, we can during the design stage we can cross check whether the uh, efficiency Uh, of the energy efficiency or the eedi value of our vessel now with the present design requirements design uh, considerations whether it satisfies the rule the regulation or the set standard with respect to the energy efficiency which we want so this is possible as you can see graphically here uh, we can uh, uh, cross this cross check this and uh, accordingly if suppose the attained eedi is not less it is more than the required eedi then we it means we need to make some changes in our machinery uh, we need to make some changes in the way energy is produced or energy is utilized so that this eedi value can be brought down so this is one very important thing in uh, uh, the eedi uh, calculation and its importance during the ship design stage i hope uh, you have understood the concept of eedi Uh, if you have any further doubts please feel free to email me uh, at pramod.imu@gmail.com thank you